Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 20 August 2021. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly features writer Darren Parker discusses the United States' move to secure the critical minerals for electric vehicle supply chains. In early June, after conducting a 100-day assessment of supply chain vulnerabilities, the White House issued a statement declaring that electric vehicle or EV supply chains, specifically those for the manufacture of large capacity EV batteries, are among the most vulnerable and most critical to the economic future of the US. The engineering news features focus on water purification and treatment, where a holistic approach to water management is essential to achieve resource sustainability. ESCOM, where the state-owned power utility is progressing with plans to repower and repurpose some coal power stations. Air, gas, fumes and dust control, with a safety equipment supplier releasing a wearable personal dust monitoring device. And food and beverage, where the compartment system ensures pork safety. The Mining Weekly features include a preview of Mine Expo International, where an original equipment manufacturer is set for a strong presence at the Expo. And Platinum Group Metals, which are helping to keep the economy afloat. This week's business leader is Jershin Pillay, CEO of the Chemical Industries Education and Training Authority. And as this week's cartoon shows, high youth unemployment is a potential match that could ignite future fuses linked to the social problems of poverty and extreme inequality in South Africa. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time. Music